Yo, what's up, guys? It's better welcome to today. Today is Sheffield Wednesday versus Wickham Wanderers. It's a very big game for Wednesday today. Obviously, Wickham is seventh in the league, hovering around those playoff places. And Wednesday secured um, second place in the past few weeks. And hopefully, we can stay in those automatic places today with a win. But yeah, Wednesday for Wednesday is um, going to be a bit tough. Obviously, with the loss of Mark McGuinness being recalled to Cardiff. It's never going to be easy and uh, with a side like Wickham, with the strength and physicality we've lost, losing someone like Mark McGuinness, who was that rock for us, is going to be a massive loss for us. But yeah, Wickham haven't been too bad recently. 3-0 uh, was their last um, game against Peterborough, 3-0 uh, win, and they also didn't play in the FA Cup. Um, third round whilst we did so they've had a lot of preparation for this game um, and I think they're going to prepare quite well they're obviously in form and they're looking to get into the playoffs so I mean no matter what happens today it's going to be a very hard game and I don't underestimate that at all and especially you know with their weak in defence as well uh, and no Barry Bannon it's going to be hard I, um, we are learning to play without Bannon at the moment uh, obviously, we, we, we won without him against Newcastle, but uh, I'm really unsure about how we're going to fare without McGuinness today. And um, I just we'll just have to hope and see how it goes. Hopefully, we can just out, outplay them uh, with our quality today. And hopefully, we don't get dominated too much in the air and bullied off the ball and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hard game. There's not going to be a lot of goals, I'm sure. And it's also, you know, it's just it's just not going to be the most entertaining game, I don't think. Um, I'm going to go for a 1-0 Wednesday win, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we can get the win. I'm not expecting too many goals, but I'm also not, you know, overestimating Wickham. I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not thinking we're going to blow them out of the water. But yeah, it's going to be tricky today. But yeah, let's head over to Wickham's ground. Hopefully we can get the win. Come on, the Owls. Right then, guys, the lineups are as follows. In goal, we've got Cameron Dawson. We've got a back five of Hunt, um, James, Iortha, Thamo, and Palmer. And then in the midfield, we've got uh, Bulks, <laughs> Bulks, Bulks, and Byers. And then we've got Windass in the 10, and then Smith and Patterson as our two strikers. So it's a decent team. Obviously, we've got Pato in there for for the little physical game. I think he'll have a really good game today against Wickham, uh, you know, because he is quite a physical player. Him and Smith up top should be decent. Should win a few balls, hopefully. But yeah, the defence doesn't seem too bad. Um, obviously, we're having to transition away from missing Mark McGuinness. But it doesn't seem too bad. Fame where I offer uh, Palmer, I guess it's the three centre-backs, and then James on the left, Hunt on the right. So yeah, not too shabby. And yeah, let's move on to the subs. Right then, guys, on the bench, we have got Jackson, Johnson, Backinson, Adonair, and Derbyshire, Wilkes, and Gregory. So Gregory is back. That is a bonus. Jackson on the bench, the um, young goalkeeper. Don't know what's happened to... Um, what's his face? Don't know what's happened to uh, Stocky, but maybe, I don't know, something to do with Wickham. He used to play for Wickham out of respect or something or maybe he's injured i don't really know um i'll try and let you guys know if i can but um yeah i'm, I'm guessing it'll probably be on the bench next game next week but yeah i mean johnson's been benched um i can kind of see it he maybe you could say is not physical enough or doesn't give enough in the air for this game obviously james is a bit smaller but you know he really um is good in the air and the rest of the bench is fairly standard um, Dele Bashiru, Backinson, Wilkes, and an iron. I was hoping that an iron could start. He had quite a good game against Newcastle, but you know, you can't ask for anything, everything. And um, yeah, we're playing a two midfield really today, so hopefully that doesn't come to bites. Hopefully, we don't get dominated in the midfield, but I'm hoping we shouldn't. But we're almost at the ground now. Hopefully, we can get the win. Come on, the house.
Right then, guys, back from the game now. And yeah, what a game it was really today. Uh, lots of ups and downs, lots of things that went well, went wrong in our favour. But overall, it was an incredible performance from the boys. Really impressed. I don't think anyone could say anything else. And um, yeah, really good win away at a hard side at Wickham. Um, but yeah, away at Wickham, it was never going to be easy. We knew that it was a scrappy game. And I think we played more like Wickham do than Wickham played like Wickham. To be honest, if you know what I mean, we were proper scrappy, you know, hoofing the ball around um, for large parts. But then, you know, in also at the same time, we were implementing, you know, our, our quality and showing what quality we do have um, playing on the floor. Windass um, as, as the floater, as the number 10, you know, showing a lot of that quality today. And um, just in general, we are really solid. And I was really impressed with all the performances today. And especially the goal. You know, as soon as Will Volks hit it, you knew it was going in. He was an absolute screamer. And, you know, his performance on top of that as well, Will Volks today, he was sublime. Um, but a bias with him in the middle, unfortunately, after his injury, he came off. Um, but, you know, he was you know, he was also just incredible. You know, Byers and Volks, them two, uh, are really doing well. I just hope Byers isn't out for too long. He did look quite frustrated and he did have to come off in a stretcher though. That is a quite a concern. But um, Backinson came on. He did all right in for him. I'll say all right. But he just he wasn't too great. But yeah, it just shows that we will struggle if buys us out for quite long. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, the defence was, again, really good. Cameron Dawson, standard stuff, very good. Didn't have much to do, to be honest. Uh, Palmer had an absolute blinder of a game like he usually does. Akin Famewo was absolutely incredible. I mean, I think his second league day uh, league uh, appearance, and he, he pulls off a a, a a performance like that after barely playing this season. It's just, you know, it's really impressive, and it's kind of gave me more confidence about losing Mark McGuinness. Um, but yeah, Dominic Arthur as well in the centre. He was class. Um, Reese James as well was great. And actually, Jack Hunt as well. I thought Jack Hunt was really good today. Um, but yeah, obviously, Rhys James came off injured as well on a stretcher. Two stretcher injuries in one game. It must be the worst look ever. But yeah, that one looked a lot worse. I saw him jump and then fall and then, then he got injured. Maybe a broken leg or something. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. But uh, it looked quite bad, Rhys James is. Um, but we'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully, it's not too long. Obviously, he's only on loan to the end of the season. But... He is quite a vital part to our team, especially that, like, back three. But, yeah, I mean, hope he's not out for too long. But, yeah, up top, um, we were fair, fairly fairly decent as well. Um, Smith was probably um, the the poorest out of the three. Uh, he just wasn't too great. I mean, he had moments here and there, but when Gregory came on for him, Gregory just looked a lot more solid and was um, keeping the ball a lot more, winning the ball a lot more, putting a lot more press on. He's just a little bit faster, I think, as well. And he gets the balls just a bit more. He's stronger. Um, but yeah, uh, Windass was pretty good, to say the least. He should have scored probably at least twice. Um, bit annoying. Their keeper was was all right. And he got lucky at some points, especially for that free kick. That was very... I can't believe that didn't go in. But yeah, and then um, Patterson goes completely under the radar. He pulled an absolute blinder again. He does all the dirty work in that front three, and uh, yeah, he did so much pressing today. He worked so hard, and he deserves everything he gets. So it's just a shame that he couldn't score that chance that he got uh, in the first half. But yeah, um, anyway, guys, one 0 win. Like I said, predicted it correctly. Um, but yeah, it was it was a great performance today. I mean, we should have won by more, but you can't ask for too much. Three points is three points at the end of the day, and if we scored a few more, it wouldn't really have made a difference. But yeah. Anyway, guys, that's been it for me. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Also, hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload. But that's been it for me. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.